everyone welcome to rasa's classroom today we are solve a nice exponential math on the equation which is 6 to the power x plus 6 to the power 2x plus 6 to the power 3x is equal to 14 we will find out what is the value of x in this exponential math problem how to solve this math problem so solution we will solve this question easy method now here our question it will be 6 to the power x plus 6 to the power twice x plus 6 to the power 3x is equal to 14 this is our question now at this moment we know that a to the power m and it will be a to the power m and whole to the power n according to exponential law this law i consider this expression it will be 6 to the power x plus 6 to the power x whole to the power 2. I apply this formula here and it is also 6 to the power x and whole to the power 3 is equal to 14. Now at this moment you can see here is 6 to the power x. This is 6 to the power x. This is also 6 to the power x. So at this moment let 6 to the power x is equal to y. So we are let here is 6 to the power x, it will be y. So you can see that this expression, it will be y plus it will be y squared. And it is also y to the power 3 is equal to 14. You can see that this 14, it will be here, it will be 8 plus 4 plus 2. So you can see that this quadratic equation, it will be y to the power 3 plus y squared plus y. And this 14, it will be 8 plus 4 plus 2. We know that 8 plus 4 plus 2 will be 14. Now, at this moment, you can see this expression here is y to the power 3. Then if I move on this 8 in this side, it will be negative 8 plus y to the power 2. Now, if I move on this 4 in this side, it will be negative 4 plus here is y. And if I move on this 2 in this side, it will be negative 2 is equal to zero now <clears throat> at this moment you can see that here y to the power three minus eight eight it will be two to the power three bracket plus and here y square then four four it will be two to the power two and here is y minus two is equal to zero now at this moment you can say here a cube minus b cube and y a square minus b square if i apply this formula we know that a cube minus b cube it will be a minus b times a square plus a b 2 times y it will be 2y plus 2 to the power 2 it will be 4 and we know that a square minus b square it will be a plus b times a minus b and here y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now you can see really here y minus 2 is common. So if I take this is y minus 2, this is y minus 2, this is y minus 2. So if I take here is y minus 2 is common. So you can see really here y minus 2. Then these divide this, this is cancel out. We are finding out this term. It will be y square <coughs> plus 2y plus 4. Then these divide this, it will be y plus 2 then these I divide this it will be one is equal to zero now you can see really here y minus two times and it will be y squared plus two y plus y it will be three y four plus two plus six and one it will be seven is equal to zero so we'll find out here is a nice two case uh first case y minus two is equal to zero and other case we'll find out y square plus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0. So you can see here <coughs> y minus 2 is equal to 0. And we'll find out other case here y square plus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0. So at this moment here y square plus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0 and here is y is equal to 2. So if I move on this twin this side it will be y is equal to 2. But recall, we are let y is equal to 6 to the power x. First of all, we are let y is equal to 6 to the power x. So we are put this below here. So it will be 6 to the power x is equal to 2. Then if I use both segments, I will log. So log 6 to the power x is equal to log 2. Then 
if I move on this axe in, in this side, so it will be informed, so it will be log 6 is equal to log 2. Then if I divide both value by log 6, it will be x is equal to log 2 over log 6. Then you can easily here x is equal to log 2 base 6. This is our final answer in this math problem. But other case here is y squared plus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0. So here y is equal to what? So know that y is equal to minus b plus minus root over b squared minus 4 raised to over 2a. So if I find out here is delta, it will be b squared minus 4ac. b, it will be 3 to the power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 7. So it is 9 minus 28. It will be minus 19. It is less than 0. So here is no real solution. Both are complex solution, but we need real solution. So here is no real solution. We need complex. We need real solution. It is a complex number. Complex number. I mean complex solutions. So our real answer is x is equal to log two base six. Let's check out our question. It will be. 6 to the power x plus 2, 6 to the power 2x plus 6 to the power 3x is equal to 14. So we'll find out here is x. x, it will be log 2 base 6. Now, at this moment, if I put this value here, so it will be 6 to the power log 2 base 6 plus, and it will be 6 to the power 2 log to base 6 plus 6 to the power 2 log to base 6 it will be 3 here is 3 is equal to 14 now at this moment you can see easily here 6 to the power log to base 6 plus and at this moment we are move on these two here exponents so it will be 6 to the power log 6 2 to the power 2 we are move on these two here plus and it is also 6 to the power log 6 and it is 2 to the power 3 these three move on here is equal to 14 now you can see it here 2 it will be 2 here is 2 here is base and this value is same and it is 2 to the power 2 and according to logarithm rules and it is 2 to the power 3 is equal to 14 now at this moment you can see it here 2 plus 4 plus 8 2 to the power 3 it will be 8 is equal to 14 now at this moment you can see really this plus this plus this it will be 14 is equal to 14 so left hand side and right hand side is equal so in this exponential mass problem in this mass on get question you can see really here is x is equal to log to base 6 this is our final answer in this mass problem thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care